This factory produces 1,152 units of acid per day. I will teach you how to build it and explain all the intricacies of its work. Listen very carefully, because you won't be able to build an efficient acid factory without understanding the basic mechanics and numbers. As you know on the global map of once human, there are so-called polluted areas. In these zones your backpack starts blinking, and your sanity decreases. Only in these zones you can find stardust ore, and produce acid. Finding such zones is not difficult with the help of an interactive map from a Chinese developer. I will leave a link to this map in the description. To produce acid, you need to complete several steps. First you must extract polluted water using water pumps or rainwater collection systems. Then you must convert polluted water into impure acid at a ratio of 2 to 1, using the osmosis water purifier. After this, from 10 units of impure acid and 1 unit of pure water, you can produce 1 unit of acid using the brewing barrel. For a beginner this production chain may seem complex, but don't worry. Now I'll show you the numbers, and it will become clearer. So each osmosis water purifier has 4 slots, so it can produce up to 4 units of impure acid per minute. This factory uses 2 osmosis water purifiers, so the maximum production capacity is 8 units of impure acid per minute or 480 units per hour. To produce 1 unit of impure acid, you need 2 units of polluted water, so to fill the production capacity, you need to extract twice as much polluted water, that is 960 units per hour. For stable acid production, you need to extract polluted water using water pumps. And now it's very important for you to understand their mechanics in polluted areas. If you place the pump near water, it will extract 4 units of polluted water on the first iteration, and 24 units of dirty or sea water on the second. To make the water pump extract only polluted water, you need to place it on land, away from any bodies of water. Each water pump, extracts 4 units of polluted water every 5 minutes, or 48 units per hour. This means that to produce 960 units of polluted water per hour, we need to install as many as 20 pumps, and this is quite a lot. Brewing barrels have 4 slots for raw materials, and can produce up to 4 units of acid from 40 units of impure acid in 20 minutes, which means processing 120 units of impure acid per hour. Our factory produces 480 units of impure acid per hour, so we will need 4 brewing barrels. At the output, we will get 48 units of acid per hour, or 1,152 units per day. Now I will show you how to build such a factory as compactly as possible. First I build a platform of three small foundation blocks. It should be slightly above ground level, but not very high. Now I install the pumps on top of each other in four layers of five pieces. If this is inconvenient for you for some reason, you can install them in two layers of ten pieces, or any other way, but I personally prefer compact schemes. Don't forget to connect all the pumps with wires. Next I expand the platform on both sides. Since the factory uses 20 water pumps, we can't connect them directly to the osmosis water purifier, as you can only connect 10 pipes to one facility, while we need 11. That's why I install 3 tanks and connect them to the water pumps with pipes. After this, I install 2 water purifiers on top. Polluted water from the tanks, will be delivered to them using a wall-mounted pump. On the other side of the platform, I install 4 brewing barrels, and 1 water tank, which will contain impure acid. Don't forget to connect it to the osmosis water purifiers with pipes. The fact is the game doesn't allow transporting impure acid to the brewing barrels directly, so the factory can only work in semi-automatic mode. You will have to go to this water tank from time to time, collect impure acid, and place it in the brewing barrels manually. On top I install one more tank, which will contain pure water, and connect it to the brewing barrels. You can deliver pure water to this tank manually or automatically. Finally I add two stairs on the side. Now the factory is fully ready to work. Thanks to its compact size, you can easily build it inside your base. In total this acid factory consumes 261 watts of energy. This is quite a lot, so be sure to check out my previous video, which you see in the tip above. You will learn how with the help of electric eel deviance, you can produce more than 300 watts of free energy. I also remind you that to produce acid, you will also need to produce pure water, and this needs to be done separately. Each brewing barrel only consumes one unit of pure water per iteration, every 20 minutes, and no matter how many raw material slots you fill with impure acid. Since we are using four brewing barrels, this means consuming 12 units of pure water per hour, or 288 per day. I suggest you place a structure like this, next to a body of water. It consists of one pump, one tank, and one water purifier. This station will produce 1,728 pure water per day, 
which should be enough for all your needs, including the acid factory. However it will require 20 more watts of energy, and you should remember that. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel if this factory will be useful. I am also developing several farms for you. They will appear on the channel very soon, and will almost certainly surprise you with their compactness and efficiency. As for now, thank you for watching and, bye.